गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाल ही गान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द डिजिटल सर्किट्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट द बीसीडी एडर एंड बीसीडी सबट्रैक्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन विद द बीसीडी एडर वी आर गोइंग टू सी इट इन डिटेल एंड देन वी विल मूव टू द बीसीडी सबट्रैक्टर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द बीसीडी सबट्रैक्टर यूजिंग द नाइन कॉम्प्लीमेंट मेथड एंड यूजिंग द टेंस कॉम्प्लीमेंट मेथड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन विद द बीसीडी एडर फर्स्ट व्हाट इज बीसीडी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द बाइनरी कोडेड डेसिमल नंबर इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो एज़ वेल आई होप यू ऑल हैव सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ नॉट यू कैन गो बैक रिकॉल दैट एंड देन यू कैन कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो सो हियर आई एम कंसीडरिंग यू नो व्हाट इज बीसीडी नंबर राइट सो बीसीडी इज अ बाइनरी कोडेड डेसिमल नंबर वी आर कन्वर्टिंग द डिजिटल number to the bcd number and i hope you remember in the bcd number we have the numbers representation up to the 9 only at 10 or a number greater than 9 we we add 6 right so i will be telling about this logic again in this video right so now here if i have two input numbers a and b in the bcd adder these a and b must be the bcd number and the sum that is produced it should also be a bcd number so this is the logic of the bcd adder that the inputs that we are giving is a bcd and the output we are generating it's again a bcd number now we have some steps we have some steps to implement the bcd adder first step is that we have a four bit binary adder for initial addition we require a four bit binary adder right here you can see we have a four bit binary adder which is giving me the initial addition of the two numbers now here i will be having a logic circuit to detect the sum is greater than 9 this is my logic circuit which will detect if the sum is greater than 9 and now if the sum is greater than 9 i will again use a bcd adder i i will, I will again use a binary adder four bit binary adder and what i am going to do i am going to add 0 1 1 0 in the sum if the sum is greater than 9 or if the carry is 1 right in both of the cases when the sum is greater than 9 when the carry is 1 so you can see i have connected it to the carry so this logic represents the sum is greater than 9 or if a carry is present right so now that time here you can see i am adding 0 1 1 0 so here 0 is connected over here over here so this is connected to the output carry so if it is 1 we will be having 0 1 0 1 right so now here okay so it is 0 1 1 0 right so 0 1 1 0 is added so the first bit over here in the four binary adder the first number is 0 1 1 0 second number is the sum that we are getting right so first step is to add the two numbers which are four bit then we have to check the output is greater than 9 or if carry is present if the carry is present we are giving over here 0 1 1 0 as the first number and sum as the second i am adding 0 1 1 0 to the sum here i am getting s3 s2 s1 s not so i am adding s3 s2 s1 and s not with 0 1 1 0 and here i will get s3 s2 s1 and s not this is my bcd sum output right so now we have to design this logic first of all here we require two four bit binary adder first four bit binary adder to add two four bit numbers right then the second bit second four bit binary adder for the addition of 0 1 1 0 1 to the given sum if the sum is greater than 9 so i require two four bit binary adder for the bcd addition now how this logic came what is this logic that we will understand with the help of truth table so in the truth table we can understand a number is a bcd number only when we we have the inputs from 0 up to 9 whenever we have 10 as the output it is not a valid bcd number 10 is not a valid bcd number 11 is not a valid bcd number 12 is not a valid bcd number so whenever we are getting 1010 1, 0, that is 10 101111 one, 11 1100 1, 12 1101 11, 13 we are getting y output as 1 and whenever we have the number from 
up to 9. So what is 9? 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. Up till 9 we have the output as 0 and after 9 from 10, 11, 12 we will get y as 1. So these are the invalid state whenever I have y is equal to 1. So I have to avoid these states. How I am going to avoid these states? Whenever we have these states I will add the number 6 to the output. So I will check wherever we have y is equal to 1 then I will use the k map. So y is equal to 1 when the sum is greater than 9 or whenever we have c out. So that time we have to add 0, 1, 1, 0 in the sum. So that for that I will use a k map. So we have the 4 input. So I will be using the 4 cross 4 uh, k map which is having the 16 blocks over here. You can see we have the output as 1 in the condition that we have 1, 0, 1, 0. Here 1, 0, 1, 1. Then 1, 1, 0, 0. Here 1, 1, 0, 1. Then we have 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1, 1. So at all these locations I have output is equal to 1. What I am going to do here? I am going to make the quads. So here this is the first quad. This quad is representing the S3, S2. Now here I have one more quad. This quad is representing over here you can see S3 is common and here S1 is common. So S3, S1. So Y output for this K map is S3, S2 plus S3, S1. So what I have to do? I have to check the outputs. Output are here S0, S1, S2 and S3. I have to do the multiplication of S2 and S3. I will do that with the AND gate. So here I have taken S2 and S3. I have done the multiplication with the AND gate. So here I will get S2, S3. Right, similarly here I will get S3, S1. Right, so here I will get S3, S1. I have connected it to S3 and S1. Right, so we are sending this through the OR gate. We have to add these and if the carry is generated. We are not taking any input carry. Input carry is 0 over here. The output carry, if it is generated, it is sent to the OR gate. Right, so this OR gate will take the sum and it will generate output carry. If, if we have some output carry, so if we have some output carry, here we will be having 1. 1 is sent to this location and this location. Right, so I will get 0, 1, 1, 0 over here. And we are getting the S0, S1, S2, S3 bits over here. Now I will use the 4 bit binary adder to add 0, 1, 1, 0 to S3, S2, S1 and S0. Right. Again, I will have the input carry as 0 and here I will be having 4 bit binary adder which is adding the sum bits with the 0, 1, 1, 0 and here it is generating S0, S1, S2, S3 which is the final BCD sum output and the, the, if the carry is generated, it is ignored. Right? When the sum is less than or equal to 9 and the carry output carry is 0, so then 0 is added to the binary sum. So you can see whenever the sum is less than 9 or if the C output is 0, so here we will be generating 0. So here with the help of this binary adder, I will be adding 0, 0, 0, 0. This 0 is connected over here, over here. These two were already 0. So we are adding 0 with the sum. So 0 added with anything, I will get the sum only, right? So here if the sum is less than 9 and also the carry output is 0, so we are adding 0 with the with the sum and I will get the same sum over here, right? But in the case sum is greater than 9 and C output is 1. So I am adding 0, 1, 0 to the binary sum through the bottom 4 bit binary adder. This 4 bit binary adder is used to add 0, 1, 1, 0 to this sum, right? So in this manner I will get the BCD output. Now coming to the designing of 8 bit BCD adder using the 4 bit BCD adder, right? So we have the 4 bit binary adder right here it is acting at as a BCD adder here we have the two inputs right so here the 4 bit first input the 4 bit second input this is my A3, A2, A1, A0, B3, B2, B1, B0 right these two are added with the 4 bit binary adder C input is taken as 0 over here output carry is checked and if there is output carry if there is S, S, S3, S2 plus S3, S1 is 1. So that time I will have the addition of 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 to the sum. 
here we will get some S3, S2, S1, S0. So now again the same logic and I will get the digit 0. The first four digits of the of the BCD number output sum. Right. So here we what is done the same BCD adder we have used over here. But this carry that is generated is taken as the input carry for the second four bit binary adder. Right. I will take the next higher four bits for the A. Right, I will take up to here I have taken A3, I will take A4, A5, A6, A7 or A7, A6, A5, A4. Similarly B7, B6, B5, B4. So now I have taken the higher 4 bits of A and B. I have added them considering the previous carry seen also. This carry is transferred over here and the carry is generated. Again I will check the relation that S3, S2 plus S3, S1 is 1 or not or if carry is generated. If, the, if this is the case which means if the sum is greater than 9 I will again add 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, that is 6 to the given sum, right? And I will get the digit 1. So here again I will get the 4 bits, right? I will get 4 bits from here, 4 bits from here and I will get an output carry also. This carry is the 9th bit that we are generating, right? If the 9th bit is present. I hope you understood that. Now coming to the BCD subtractor. We can also perform the subtraction operation and we can get... The two subtraction operation of two numbers which are BCD and the output is also a BCD number. So here what I am going to do, I am going to represent this negative number as a 9's complement or 10's complement. So if I am doing the calculations using 9's complement, I will be having the 9's complement BCD subtractor. If I am doing the computation using 10's complement, I will be having 10's complement BCD subtractor. I am going to tell you about both of them. So first is the subtraction using 9's complement. We have various steps. First is to find out the 9's complement of the negative number. Whatever negative number we have. So if I have A minus B, so for B I am going to find out the 9's complement. How we used to find out the 9's complement? By just inverting 0 to 1 and 1 to 0, right? So here you can see this is my 9's complement method. So here what I have done, I have used an XOR gate, right? XOR gate you, you can see I have used over here. So one input of the XOR gate is connected to the 5 volt which is the high. So when one input of XOR gate is connected to high, one XOR B will give me B complement. So here I will get the B complement. These B0, B1, B2 and B3 are my B complement, right? So, first of all, I have to find out the 9's complement of the negative number. For the 9's complement, first of all, what I am going to do, I am going to get the inverted bit, right? If, if I have the number, BCD number minus B. So, minus B for B, I am going to find out the invert of B with the help of XOR gate, which are acting as the inverter. And then I have to add number 10 to it. So, here you can see we have the high volt 5 volt connected to this bit so first bit is 1 second bit is connected to ground that is 0 third bit is connected to again high fourth is connected to ground so we are having the inverted bits and we are adding four bit adder is adding 1010 0, 0 with the inverted bits right so like over here you have the bcd number 2 2 is represented as 0010 0, 0, right what is the invert of 2 one one zero one. Now one one zero one is not the nines complement of two. Nines complement of two is nine minus two. It must be seven. So it should be zero triple one, right? So here we have after inverting we got one one zero one, right? Now here we have to add ten. When I add ten, one zero one zero is ten. So when I get add ten, I will get one zero triple one. So one is my carry. I will ignore the carry. We will get zero triple one. Zero triple one is representation of seven which is the 9's complement of 2. So what I have to do, I have to invert the bits, then I have to add 10 to it, right? So this is how I will get the 9's complement. After I get the 9's complement, I have to add two numbers using the BCD addition. I will use the same circuit over here. So instead of B over here, I will use these bits. 9's complement of B, I will use instead of B over here. A, I will take as it is. Right, so I will take the same BCD adder, I will add it. Right, I, I will take these output as the 9's complement of B. 
after i get the addition so here i will get the bcd number as the output so now i have to check if the carry is generated or not so this carry which was ignored in the addition now i have to check if the carry is there or not now if the carry is generated add the carry to the result otherwise find the nines complement of the result whenever the carry is generated just add it to the result otherwise if the carry is not generated you have to again find out the nines complement right so now here you can see we have a last adder so again after this we will be using this bcd adder and after that we have one more adder to find out the nice complement of the result if carry is not generated otherwise you can see we have the last adder which is adding the carry to the result so this is the subtraction using the nines complement right so we have used various four bits adder so in the case of bcd add bcd subtractor which we are doing with the help of nines complement method we are using four four bit adders for the subtraction operation here coming to the next case where we have the subtraction using the tens complement obviously the first step is to find out the tens complement of the negative number how we are finding out the tens complement by taking this carry as one so in the case of nines complement i took the input carry as zero i know the tens complement is nines complement plus one if i take this carry as one i will get the tens complement as the output after i get the tens complement of the negative number i have to use this bcd adder i have to add this tens complement of the negative number to the number a right so add two numbers using the bcd addition now i have to check if the carry is generated or not if the carry is not generated we have to find out the tens complement of the result right so when the carry is zero we have to find out the tens complement of the result again i am going to use the same circuit for finding out the tens complement of the result when the carry is equal to 1 circuit performs 0 plus b plus 0 right the circuit will just add this uh, this b with zero number so when uh, the carry is 1 that time this carry is discarded right carry is ignored and i will get just b as the output this sum the sum is getting as the output only right so in the case of carry is zero then i have to find out tens complement of the sum if the carry is one sum is taken as it is i hope you understood all of the things that i have discussed so far if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like the session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends give me your feedback and also you can download our mobile app to find out the various notes meet me soon in the next class thank you so much